All right, so what I'm going to do today is show you how to make this banner shape in Photoshop. Okay, so I'm going to create a new document. It's going to be five inches by seven inches. It really doesn't matter the size because we are creating a vector shape. So vector shapes are shapes that can be resized um, no matter how large or small. And you can create that in Photoshop with the shape tool. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn on our grid. So if you don't know how to do that, you're going to go to view and then show and turn on grid. The shortcut is control H to turn it on and control H to turn it off. I'm gonna use this to start with so I um, can see where I'm drawing out my lines and how big they are. Okay, so I'm gonna click on my rectangle tool and I'm drawing a shape. So I need to use the color picker up here. So what I'm gonna do is choose a color and go ahead and close that out. I'm going to click and drag out my shape and we'll make it about that big and there's my first shape okay so the next thing I want to do is make my little end pieces what I'm going to do is make it about a third of the size of this banner okay so I'm going to just draw it out right there and then I'm going to place it right right about there and depending on how large you want your banner that's going to depend on you okay so what I need to do is move this top piece or this larger piece on top so I'm going to drag that and I'm going to give it a layer style so I'm going to add a stroke to it to kind of define it and separate it from that bottom piece let me turn off the grid so you can see what's going on so I'm going to go to the effects panel and Add a stroke. So I want my stroke color to be a little bit darker than my blue color I have here. So I'm gonna click on the blue target and then hit OK. And now you can see I have a stroke. You wanna make sure that it's set between one and five pixels and that the position is on the inside of the banner hit or the shape, hit OK. And there you go. So I'm gonna copy this layer style. So I'll right click and hit copy layer style click on this one and right click and hit paste layer style and there's my new layer style. Now what I want to do is give it a little um, uh, concave in here or a little cutout. So what I'm going to do is use my pen tool. I need to add an anchor point onto the shape. Okay, so to do that you are going to have to first make sure you're on the right layer. Click on your pen tool and there's a trick to this. I know there is. You got to get right on that line. So I want to put my little anchor point right here. So I'm going to zoom in and move it over so I can see it. And I know there's a trick because I tried this once before and it was giving me a really difficult time. So I don't know. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I actually put it in the wrong spot. So I'll put it right about there. Okay, so now what I want to do is drag this in just like that. And depending on how large you want your um, cutout to be, I'm going to adjust my anchor point now. So what I need to do is go to my back to my pen tool and go to convert point. Okay, make sure to do that and you don't stay on the add anchor point. And then I'm just going to kind of bring it up so that shape is in a V like that. All right, so there is that side. Now all I have to do is copy this shape and flip it and bring it over here. So I'm gonna make a copy of this layer. So with it selected, I'll do Control J and it makes a copy. And I'm gonna bring it over here. Oh, what happened? It made a copy of my cutout. Okay, so let me undo that, I'm sorry. Um, let's try that again. So, um, Photoshop, I don't know, it's being a little wonky. I haven't had a lot of time to use Photoshop. Okay, so I just did Control C and then Control V. I haven't had a lot of time to use Photoshop on this um, particular computer. So, okay, so now I need to transform it. Control T to transform. Right click and go flip or vertical 
Oops, I didn't click it. Oh, flip horizontal, sorry. All right, so to make sure that they're equal distance, I'm gonna turn on my grid again and make sure that there are two lines in, two lines in. Yep, everything looks good. And so now what I need to do is add a little um, triangle right here to give it a little bit of depth. So I'm gonna use my shape tool one more time and I'm just gonna draw out a gray colored shape. I'll click right there and then I can change my color after I've drawn it out. Hit okay. Go to my move tool, let's get this out of the way. All right, so now what I need to do is actually change this into a rectangle. So I'm gonna go to my um, pen tool again and hit delete anchor point. And then I'll click right here on this corner and it's gonna ask if I wanna turn it into a regular path. I will hit yes, okay. And then I can copy this layer. So control C, control V. And I'm going to move this over. Oh, actually that didn't work that time. So let's try it again. All right, there we go. And now I can move it over and flip it. Control T, right click, flip horizontal. And make sure it's all lined up. And there you go. So there's my banner. It's how many shapes do I have? One two, three, four, five, five shapes. Yep, five shapes. Okay, so something that you can do now that it's all put together is um, give it an arc. So if I select all of them and put them in a group, I should be able to transform them using the transform tool. So, let's, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna rasterize these layers that I have selected my group and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna to go to merge layers. Now I can transform everything. So I'm gonna hold control T to transform and then it'll bring up my warp tool. And let's see, so if I go to custom, I can click on arc and now I can change my bend and my dimensions right here. So Photoshop has changed a little bit and yours may be different. You still may have the slider. Um, so yours may be a little bit different than mine, but this is using the um, warp tool. I'm able to give it a little bit of a bend. So I have actually two groups here. So my first group is my unrasterized, um, unflattened layers in case I wanna come back and do something with it for some reason. And this is my rasterized flattened layer. Okay, I noticed I probably should have put a stroke, a darker stroke on this gray right here to separate it a little bit more. That's something that you can do and maybe fit it in there a little bit perfect, a little bit more perfectly. Okay, so I hope this helped you learn how to create a banner.